Okay, so my first DIY project is the Jarmageddon, which is a glitch generator inside of a jar. So as you can see, it's powered by a nine volt battery. It's got a simple PCB in there, very simple circuit, great for a first timer. And it just generates glitch, that's all it does. So I've got our little amp here, it's turned on, and let's see what this thing sounds like. So basically, you just hit the power switch. And you hear a glitch. And as we turn this pot, it cycles through something like seven or eight different glitch algorithms. So you can hear there's a lot of different glitches in there, but you can also see. There's a CV input. So what's that about? So if we come over to the Euro rack here, and I've just sent a clock signal into the 2HP uh, random voltage generator. Whoops, let's plug this into the right output here. Okay, so we have, this is just a random uh, generated output, and if we plug that into the CV in, See, we kind of get some random changing glitch algorithms and we can use the pot to kind of offset that so we really want to have the pot down lower to get a longer range it does accept positive voltages only so it's not really good for your lfos more for your um pitch voltages and, and things like that looping envelopes and things like that now let's try something different let's come up here let's plug it into renee here sequencer so we'll plug it into Every time the sequence advances, essentially moving the glitch knob. And we'll do some really cool things with that. Nice thing about this is it does come out at very close to modular level, so it's very easy to integrate with the Euro Rack. Cool little device, Germagen, DIY kit, all the parts included.